Hello everybody, this is Leslie and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I have a couple of crafting items and I have a couple of everyday items that I purchase on a regular basis. So let's get into seeing what I bought. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start with the stuff that I purchase on a regular basis. Now, I buy the Assured Talc-Free Body Powder, the medicated one with cornstarch. John and I both li like these um, more so than the other ones, so I tend to buy these when I can. So I bought two of them this time to put in my cabinet, so I have a couple and I don't have to worry about buying them all the time because they don't always have them every single time I go. And then I bought two of these. So I bought the Forever Raspberry and the Blissful Apple and Cinnamon because we prefer to have a lot of the fruit type scents and these are for in my bathroom. I bought the little bead ones and I don't really care for them, so I will stick with these. These actually, I think, do a better job in the bathroom. So I bought these two. Then I bought two of these little ponytail holders because as I've said before, I am losing my hair. So when I do put, when I have my hair up, I do put one of these around the other two scrunchies that I use to hold my hair up so that it's a little bit decorative. So I figured I would get two different brown ones for a change instead of always using like a black and white. And so I'm gonna try those. Then I bought the Sun Ripened Strawberry Shampoo by Suave. And this is the 15 fluid ounce. So again, I like to get the uh, fruit scents if I can get them. Then I bought the Sun Ripened Strawberry Conditioner because of course I need conditioner badly with all the knots that are in my hair. Then I also purchased this Daily Defense Hydrating Coconut with Hibiscus Oil. And again, it's a conditioner. So I'm gonna, I think I've tried this before and it's not bad, it's just, it's very, very watery. It's not too bad, but it's, it's, it's kind of watery, but it's not too, too bad. I do like it because it smells like coconut. All right, then for the kitchen, I bought two new towels. They're the exact same one, but this one says love is a four-legged word. So I bought two of those and they're in a beige and a blue and a white. I don't have any colors theme, so I just buy whatever I like. And then I use these dish drying mats underneath where I have my um, dish drain. We don't have a dishwasher, so I have to have a dish drain out. So I put this underneath the dish drain. So when we put stuff in the dish drain, um, any water that may come out from the slant to go into the sink, it goes on to here. And I've had a Thanksgiving one for quite a while. I figured it's time to get another one. All right, so that is all of the home stuff. Now for the crafting stuff, I bought burlap ribbon the nine feet, and this is one that I really, really like. This is the one that has the lace on the, um, the middle of it, but it's the burlap. This one I like. Then I purchased the squeeze applicator bottles. I wanna see how these work for glues. So I'm gonna try putting, I think, um, one of my clear glues in here and see how they work. Also too, I may put a uh, watered down acrylic paint in these. So when I actually want to do some work with acrylic paints, I want to see how these work. Now I also bought these glitter markers. I'm curious to see how these work. This is the large one. It is a blue and a purple. 
and it has a bullet tip. So let's open it real quick. You know you have to shake these. All right, let me see if I can get a piece of paper. Here we go, I'll just use this. All right, so I got the, Oh, that's quite pretty, I have to say. Wow, that is really pretty. That is shiny and sparkly. I, I don't know, hopefully you can see it really, really well. But I'm impressed. Let's see what the purple one looks like. Here we go. Okay, so here's the purple one. Let's see what this one looks like. Wow, really pretty. Wow, two for a dollar? Mm, not bad. And then there's the purple one. That's really pretty. Oh, I'm impressed. I will definitely be using those. And again, those were the INC glitter markers. The two in a pack, and it's the bullet tip. Then I purchased both the eight piece gel pen set and the eight piece glitter gel pen set. And they are all one millimeter metallic. And then this one is glitter. So I'm gonna try those. It says it's smooth writing and it has a metal tip. So I'm gonna try them out and see how they are and I can let you know, I'll probably use them in my altered journal. So we'll see how those work. Then I purchased, they have paintbrushes. Paintbrushes have become very, very expensive. I do have a lot of paintbrushes, but I wanted to have a specific paintbrush for my gesso and also to for my um, Mod Podge. I don't like using the foam brushes. I, I prefer using paint brushes. So I will use the large Filbert type wash brush. So you get a very, very small. Here, let me open these so you can actually see them. And then this one is a three piece. And these are all the Crafter Square. And then of course this one, and it's got nice bristles actually it is not bad but for what I wanted to do that's that's absolutely perfect but they call it the wash brush because it's so big so these are like what you would put water down when you're doing water painting and stuff like that or I should mean water coloring then in the three-piece set you get the long round brush which is a nice size. And then you have a, they call it a shader. And it's in the size six. And then they have another smaller one. This is in a size two. So when I paint backgrounds and stuff like that, I usually tend to do more with the smaller brushes. And I do like the square filbert type of brush, so. So we're gonna try them out. Hopefully a lot of the hairs and stuff won't come out, but you know what? For a dollar, for, for two and for three, that's not bad because now nowadays paintbrushes go for anywhere from five, six, seven and on up per brush. So that's why I keep the brushes that I do have, like this one, but this one actually is an inexpensive one. This is Royal and Langnickel, which isn't a cheap brush, but you know, it's it's one I tend to, to pull a lot up. I I use it a lot, I pull it out a lot, so but um these can be quite expensive too. So that's why I try not to use the expensive brushes. So we'll try them, we'll see how those work. Then I'll get this big thing out of the way. I found two more of the button envelopes. So I, they're both the same color. 
So I did buy the two that I saw. So those I really enjoy. Then I bought this set of stickers. And this has some butterflies and a big parrot, which I thought was really adorable. So you get nine pieces and they are, they call them 3D motion is because they actually are 3D. Some of them, they actually have the little piece on the back that elevates them. So they look like they're three dimensional. But these I thought were really pretty. Then these are rub on transfers. Now these I had not seen. These are like the Tim Holtz stuff that you buy, but they're rub ons. So I, this is a first. So if you like to do journaling and to make journals and stuff like this, this might be something to look forward to trying on maybe a journal page. Um, I'm not really sure how it would work. I've actually never used rub-ons, so this is gonna be new for me, but I am curious to try them. And then if you saw my Instagram post, I had posted from the store. They have this huge four-piece pop-up of butterflies. They're massive. Look at it to the size of my hand. I mean, they're huge. And they were pretty, they had really pretty colors. Um, I'm thinking that you could probably separate them and get two out of one. Sometimes you can, but um, I really like these two. These are very, very spring-like. Spring and this is more fall-like to me. And this is more summer. But I'm going to see about incorporating possibly one of these onto the cover of my um, altered book that I'm gonna be doing the cover on soon, so. But that is all I purchased, so I wanted to share that all with you, and I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and I will see you on my next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.